What's going on you guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, you can obviously tell by the title, we're taking a look at the Four Nations NHL jerseys that are coming out. If you guys don't know what this tournament is, the NHL is hosting it. It's going to be four nations. You got Canada, US, Sweden, and Finland, and they're going to be playing off kind of in like a mini Olympics in a sense. They kind of did something like this a while back with the jersey that I have here. And I think this was in 2016. I'm going to fact check myself. But essentially it was the World Cup of Hockey. Why they're not doing the World Cup of Hockey again and calling it the Four Nations Face-Off, I have no idea. Maybe because like Russia can't be in it or something. But like it still would be really cool to kind of see the World Cup of Hockey come back. I remember there being like Team North America, if you guys remember that, with like McDavid, McKinnon. And then there was like Team Europe with just like all the other countries that wasn't like Sweden. Um, I think Czech Republic had their own team, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't, Finland might have, Canada, US, and Sweden. Um, but this one is just Canada, Finland, US, Sweden. And it's going to be on February 12th to 20th. So I'm really excited for this. I think this is going to be really cool. And we finally got the jerseys announced. So the thing about this, I actually tried to wait like 24 hours to see these jerseys and try to get some more photos of them. But unfortunately, there just wasn't any more. So we kind of only have what we have. Before we get into it though, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, it would mean love if you guys subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed. Let's get into it. We will start with Finland here. Um, I'll throw the photo up on the screen here. It's got Sebastian Ajo wearing the Finnish jersey. And I'm going to be honest, it's probably my least favorite. I think there's some like redeeming qualities of it and some cool things about it. Like obviously that's the logo they're going to wear. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of wish they just took the shield and blew it up on the jersey instead of having the text above it. I know it's a very like Finland thing to have that text above the shield. They do it all the time on their jerseys. I just think it would look so much better to just get rid of the text and just put the shield. I don't know if that's something you guys agree with or if I'm just kind of like out to lunch on that. The jersey design as a whole, I feel like it's a little bit lackluster. Um, they're kind of going for like that Vegas Golden Knights, Pittsburgh Penguins kind of style with how this part up to the shoulder is colored and then it just has a stripe. Um, it's not really a design that I particularly like. Like I'm not a big fan of Pittsburgh's jerseys. I'm not a big fan of Vegas's. And uh, it makes me kind of not a big fan of this one. Though there is some really cool texture in the sleeve in that like light blue kind of color there. I'll try to zoom in and put that on the screen. I think that looks really cool. I don't exactly know what it is. Like I'm trying to zoom in on my phone here while I'm talking. Um, I don't really know what it is. It kind of looks like a flower of some sort. If you guys kind of have any idea on what that could be, let me know. I'm not really sure. You obviously have the patch and then they have the patch where the NHL is. Like this jersey I'm wearing here has got the World Cup of Hockey logo here where like the NHL patches. This one has the Four Nations one. So all of them are obviously going to have that. There's not too much to talk about here. It's kind of a basic jersey. I do think the numbers are going to look really good on that colored part though. Then let's go into Sweden because I've noticed something on this jersey that I don't know if a lot of people have noticed. Um, I like this thing. I mean, Sweden jerseys can never really go wrong. They always have typically like the yellow kind of being their away jersey and then the navy being their home jersey i don't really know what is going to happen here because this is the only one they released they didn't release any away jerseys so i'm assuming the only away jersey really is finland so i'm assuming they're just going to wear these one jerseys i would rather them go navy but i get why they didn't and you will too once we see the u.s one but i think this thing's cool i mean it's it's a sweden jersey you can never really go wrong they're always basic they always have the same kind of logo ish they always have the same striping same colors However, there's a couple things about this I want to point out. First of all, the striping is a little bit interesting. Like, look, I'll zoom in and throw it on the screen here. On the left sleeve of Headman, what is going on here? There's like, it looks like almost like the stripe on that goes along the sleeve is actually their flag. That's what it looks like to me. Like, what I'm curious about is if it's going to have that yellow line going down. And then in between the two stripes is actually the flag, if that makes sense. It's either that or it's one solid blue with like a flag pattern in there. But to me, there's something going on with that stripe that's not just a regular stripe. And you can see it with that kind of like vertical line in the blue stripe there. There's definitely something interesting going on there. And then I'll zoom in with the logo. And this is probably the best logo out of all of them with spoiler alert Canada's being like a close second. I think this logo is amazing. Look at the pattern and just the texture inside of this. Like, I don't even really know what the texture is supposed to be i'm sure it's got some sort of meaning but like that just looks so good then we'll move on to us and i'm gonna be honest this thing's not terrible it's kind of lackluster like the logo the usa logo is very kind of just 
boring. Um, it's very USA though, because not because it's boring, don't attack me, but because it's just fitting for their brand. I think it looks cool though, like although it is boring and it is just USA, I do think they at least did something with the lettering and it's kind of got some like cool textures in there, so that's cool. Um, the striping is very basic. I don't really see anything like I try zooming in and I don't really see anything that catches my eye that's kind of like different about this striping. It just kind of looks like regular old striping. However, the torso of the jersey has got some weird like dark blue striping kind of going on. It's like sublimation print. I don't know what that is and I'm going to be honest it would be probably better without that there's no reason to have that in there like obviously I'll zoom in you guys will see it on the screen here um, I was going to show you my phone but that clearly makes no sense like I just don't get what that is it looks like it kind of goes all the way down to like where those other stripes are I just don't really see the point in doing that um, I don't know what kind of that's supposed to like symbolize and then we got Team Canada's, which, I mean, spoiler alert, is my personal favorite. No bias here. At least I try not to. And I love this jersey. I can't, though, right off the bat, tell if that's supposed to be off-white or if that's supposed to be white. If it's off-white, I like it 10 million times more than if it's white. And I mean, it still looks good in general, like, regardless. But I think the off-white just fits the vibe of this jersey so much more. It looks very vintage, very clean. The logo is really, really nice. I really like that Team Canada logo. Like I would consider getting this just specifically for the logo because I think it's super nice. And then it's got like maple leaf kind of patterns going on in the, the in between the two off-white or white stripes, which I think is really cool. It just creates a little bit more depth, creates a little bit more life to these things. And I think that looks really nice. One thing I'll notice is Canada is the only one so far, at least in these photos, that actually has an ad on it which I mean it's a fat L. The ad looks terrible on there, the Rogers ad. Like it doesn't even make sense to throw that thing on the shoulder. It's just like a skinny rectangle logo. I think that looks so dumb, but they are the only team to have it. I was actually about to end the video and do my outro and I noticed that the American jersey, the US one actually has a star on the top sleeve before the shoulder, which makes me think the numbers might be up on the shoulder, which I kind of dig. I think the numbers on the shoulder are going to be cool. However, that little star on the sleeve kind of looks a little bit like just randomly placed there. Like they felt like, oh, it's America. We got to throw a star on here somewhere. So they just kind of put it there. Also really bad quality photo, but I'm not convinced that there isn't kind of pattern in that white striping on the US one. I'll throw a photo up on the screen here. This is me just screenshotting it. Like on both sides, you can tell that it looks like there's some sort of imprint in the white. I don't know what it is. It's hard to tell from these photos, but there's something there. But yeah, let me know down in the comments your guys' thoughts on these. What do you guys think about them? Do you like them? Do you think they did a good job with these? I do plan on ranking them. Um, so if you guys want to see that video, then subscribe to the channel because I will post that in the next upcoming days. And yeah, again, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.